welcome back to my channel. I was getting ready to go to school and then I thought I would do a super quick what's in my bag video because my bags are already packed up for school anyway and some of you are wondering what it's like to go to grad school and things like that so as a part of that kind of deal I thought I would do a super quick I already said that what's in my bag video so I just finished my first year of graduate school and I really 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 wanted to get myself something as like a pat on the back like good job surviving you did it like keep going kind of a deal so I had some money saved up and I wanted to get like a really nice designer bag but then because I'm a student I felt like most of the days I'm running around Manhattan like going from internships to classes and I'll really never wear like a nice like purse anytime so I thought it'd be best for me to get a bag that's functional for school and my internship and things like that but also you know looks nice and it's kind of like nice to carry around so that's why I chose this Saint Laurent bag I chose the gray color because so many of my outfits are actually like black I don't have that many colors and I have a lot of black bags as well so I felt like this was me coming out of my comfort zone kind of like choosing a not black bag and I think I made the right choice in the end. I really do like this color a lot. So to tell you a little bit more about this bag. So it is the tote bag. It retails for around $1,000. And I know that's expensive, but I think for a designer tote bag, it's actually one of the more affordable ones. And the leather feels amazing in my hands. And one of my favorite things about this tote is that it fits everything which is also kind of like a double-edged sword because since it fits so many things, sometimes I tend to overstuff it and I get scared that the leather is gonna stretch. So that's just something to look out for. But so it is this gray like charcoal color and it has gold hardware. So you can see the little YSL right there and it says the logo right in here. So it doesn't have any pockets. The inside basically doesn't have a lining. So it looks like this. It's just like the leather like that. But it does have this little button for magnetic closure, which I think is really useful for when I'm like running around the city, making sure my bag isn't like sprawled open and everywhere. Inside the bag, it comes with this little pouch that also says Saint Laurent Paris with this gold zipper. I actually haven't used this yet. I should use it. But yeah, that's what it looks like in here. And this just kind of like dangles inside the bag. I would most likely keep my keys in here, but I just realized this was a good reminder. I have to go get my keys before I leave. Yeah, the bag, I've used it for like two weeks now, and I really, really do like it as I go to my summer classes right now. Um, it's very functional, it's very light, but it's also very fashionable, and I feel very spoiled wearing it, so I really do like it. So 10 out of 10 would recommend, and it looks super cute. And then I have some cash in here and some receipts. And then on this side, I like to keep like some sentimental things, I guess. I have a photo of my family right here. And I have a photo of some photos of me and my boyfriend that we took from these like photo booth things in Korea. Focus. There. And then I have some photos of my grandpa in here because I don't know, he always just gives me strength wherever I go. So I have the film of his photos that I need to get developed soon and some like coffee vouchers since I'm always drinking coffee everywhere my NYU ID is in here my Starbucks card is in here typical wallet stuff not that exciting next um, my in my bag is my pencil case which is super full and my moleskin which has made its debut on my channel many times I'm sure I use my moleskin to take notes, I use it to just jot down whatever thoughts in my mind, I use it to doodle, anything essentially. And the reason why my pencil case is so fat is because I use this pencil case for everything. So obviously for classes and things, I have like highlighters and pencils and erasers, but I also have like, um, like my art materials in here. Since I'm out and about all the time, whenever I have free time, I try to like draw or be creative because I really do miss like making art every day so that's why I have this huge pencil case in there it's just super full and then next in my bag I have my phone which I've shown you in my Google Pixel video um, so this is my Google Pixel phone on the back I have my Metro card which this is like the lifeline to traveling around the city you need this but I have my phone right here it's it's okay yeah it's pretty good 
I don't know if I'll get another Google Pixel phone after this, but it was a good experience. And for being an avid Apple um, iPhone user for like all my life, it was a pretty tr smooth transition into using an Android phone. So do recommend, try it out. You might really like it. Next in my bag, I have my little cat pouch. Got this from Amazon, I believe. And um, basically inside are things that I need to survive, essentially. So I have a little vial of Advil. I have some ointment since I tend to like, I bump into things really easily and I just get random like cuts on my hands and legs. So I have a little ointment and I have some bandages in here as well. So this is not only handy for myself, but like whenever a friend or someone is like bleeding or like they need a band-aid or whatever, I'm really glad I can offer them some help with my little handy dandy cat pouch. Huh, I never knew this video would take so much effort. I'm like running out of breath. I think I just need to exercise more. And then I have my AirPods, which you have seen a few times. I have it this I have it in this cute little case from Japan. So my little AirPods are in here just so they don't get scuffed up and just so like they have a place to go. And then next I have some makeup I use. I always have a loose powder and lipstick in pretty much all of my bags. I'm thinking I should get a pouch to keep these in just so they're not like running around my bag, not running around, but they're not like rolling around my bag all the time. But I use the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder. I believe Claire Marshall was the first one that talked about this powder. She said it was like her holy grail ride or die, ride and die. I don't know if it is anymore because I miss her videos so much, but she influenced me to try it out. And despite the awful packaging, let me show you how annoying this packaging is. So this is the powder. You can see I've kind of hit pan. And then this is the mirror. That's really disgusting, I'm sorry. And then this is the cushion. So when you like use this product, so you like grab the cushion and then you like flip this down, grab the powder, flip it up, and then you do it. And just this constant like thing in the middle it's very annoying. I wish they would have just made like a normal compact, but anyway, the product's good. I've been using it. This is my third one, I believe, and it is my holy grail, so thank you, Claire. And then next, I have my lipstick. I got this as a gift from my mom's friend, I believe. So it's one of these clear lipsticks that you've seen on the internet probably by now. She said she got it somewhere and she wasn't using it. And like when you put it on your lips, it changes colors. There's like little gold specks on it. I don't know, it's kind of gimmicky. I only use it because this color is actually really nice for my like skin type and skin tone. So whenever I'm eating, which is most of the day, most of my life, after I eat, I just reapply real quick and it's moisturizing and it looks good. And there's also a little mirror in the front, which is very helpful. I think the brand says Kylie June May. Yeah, I don't really know. It'll be linked down below though if you want to check it out. And then next in my bag, I have a book. This is called When Breath Becomes Air by Paul Kalanithi. Kalanithi, if I butcher that name, I'm so sorry. But this is my favorite book right now. I finished reading it last night, actually. I bought it last night and then I finished it. I slept at 5 a.m. because I just simply could not put this book down. And I have it in my bag again because you know those kinds of books where even if you finish reading it, like it's such a gem of a literary piece that you want to go back and just read certain parts over again. So I have it in my bag today because in my free time, I wanted to kind of go through certain parts of the book that I found like especially profound and touching to kind of highlight it just so I can remember it again. It's such a beautifully written book. It's, uh, it's a memoir of this doctor um, who, who was diagnosed with stage four cancer. And it's just, I don't want to ruin it. I'm, if you've seen this cover in your local bookstores, if, you've, if anyone's recommended this book to you, I once again recommend it to you. It was, I cried so much. I had to put on like pounds of makeup today to try to cover like my bloated eyes. Definitely worth the read. It's a pretty quick read, I think. It wasn't, it didn't take too long. But like I said, some of the concepts and the way he words things are just so beautiful that I think it requires like more time and meditation into it. So that's why this is in my bag. And I think it's a book that I'll never forget. One of those books in your life that you just never forget about after you're done reading it. Highly recommend. And then next in my bag, I have my notebook for class notes. This is from Muji. I really love Muji notebooks because first, they're pretty cheap. I think this was like $6. It's really good quality and I really like the um, college ruled lining. So it's just very like thin lines and I tend to have a really small 
a really small handwriting small handwriting whatever that tense is I have really small handwriting so it just fits into the lines nicely the papers feel weighty and this little strap thing is very nice too and then last but not least in my bag I have my new MacBook Pro so it was such an ordeal to get this laptop because I wasn't sure if I wanted to invest so much money the last laptop I used was a MacBook Air that I got in 2014 so it was like three going on to its third year and really slowing down the processor was really slow and everything so I knew I wanted a new laptop since my air was not going to last me any time longer so I wanted this but then the new surface laptop came out and then the surface pro came, pro four five six whatever the latest one is came out so my boyfriend and I whenever we had free time we would go to the Apple store and the Microsoft store to just like kind of see the laptops and see what would be best for me and after a long long process of deliberation and arguments and comparisons I stuck to my roots and I chose my MacBook Pro again I have like a clear matte case on it I just find these I don't know what that sound is, it seems like a garage, but if you hear that, just ignore it. I have this clear matte case on it, I got it from Amazon, and I know a lot of people use sleeves for their laptops, but just knowing how clumsy I am and how I tend to like ac accidentally, of course, like kind of like rough things up, I feel like this kind of case is the best for me, and it just looks super sleek and beautiful, so I use this for video editing, for classes, obviously to take notes, to download powerpoints, to look at videos of lectures and things like that. So it's really great for students. Um, with the new 2007 update, it has a better processor and I upgraded to get better memory. So this thing is gonna last me at least five years. It has to, or like 10 years, that'd be great. So I have this and it is the last thing in my bag. So that was everything in my Saint Laurent tote bag that I carry around for grad school. Um, it wasn't too exciting but it's because I just like to keep the things I carry as minimal as I possibly can especially since I'm commuting and I walk around a lot and also because I don't want to stretch out my new bag. That was fun! I'm glad I could share what was in my bag and I hope I don't know, are these videos informational or is it just because we're nosy people? Not too sure, but I really do recommend this bag if you want like a really nice professional looking school bag. I really love it and I feel like it's gonna stay in my ward wardrobe, my closet, my... It's gonna be a favorite of mine for a while and yeah. So that's it for this week's video. Thank you so so much for watching. I hope you liked it. Make sure to give it a like if you did and make sure to subscribe down below. I make videos every Sunday about a lot of different things. Go check out my channel if you're curious. I myself don't really know what I'm gonna upload the next day, but I have many interests, a lot of things to talk about, and YouTube is a lot of fun, that's why I'm here. So once again, thank you for watching my video. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.